Justin Nash, AAPG. I'm here at Urtech, and I'm happy to introduce Justin Allison of uh, Through Tubing. And first of all, Justin, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Justin Allison. I'm the Senior Engineering Advisor here at Through Tubing Solutions. I've been here for about two years now. Uh, prior to that, I've spent my entire career at operations, working at different operators from publicly traded to uh, small family offices, mainly in drilling and completions. But uh, I've been enjoying my, my role here in product development through at uh, through Tubing Solutions, and we've got some fun stuff to talk about. Oh, that's great. And I have to say I'm a big fan of through Tubing Solutions. I've, I've, I've been familiar with your operations for years, and I, I love the fact that you're near Norman in, in Oklahoma City in Newcastle. And I also have been really impressed with the diverters. Are we going to talk about diverters today? Uh, no, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you asked that. The, the tool we're going to be talking about does use our perf pods and most of the industry, when they think about pods, they, they do tend to think about using them in a, in a mid-stage diversion yes. application. But believe it or not, that's actually not what they were designed for. So oh, really? this tool represents uh, sort of the evolution of the slick frack product line. It, it was designed uh, for this purpose, and it received widespread adoption in the industry in 2017 and 18 as a mid-stage diverter. That's actually not what it was designed for. So oh, this wow. is coming home full circle back to what it was designed to do. So what was it designed to do? So this was designed to serve as an alternative to traditional frack plugs. This is meant to be a plug and play replacement for mm -hmm. the conventional setting tool and frack plug that would go on the bottom of your perforating guns on your standard plug and perf uh, wireline uh, run in the middle of a frack job. Okay, well, so what are the big advantages? Well, there's a lot of advantages to talk about here. Um, when we think about the problem of providing stage isolation, conventional frack plugs suffer from one serious limitation, one, one very significant challenge, and that is simply the physics involved. When you are blocking off all the perforations you know, below your stage of interest, mm -hmm. and you're doing that at a single point, there are a tremendous amount of hydraulic forces acting on that plug. Right. You know, for instance, if you have 20 pound five and a half, and you want to have, say, 2,000 PSI of perf friction, yes. you've got you know, close to 20 square inches of cross-sectional area, and those 2,000 PSI are acting on all of them. So you've got oh, you know, 30, 30 40,000 pounds of force that need to be resisted. And those reaction forces are provided by your casing, and that sets up a number of potential issues in the future. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so uh, in theory, as we were looking at uh, the landscape of, of the industry and looking at how frack plugs have evolved over the years. Obviously, we've come a long way from cast iron bridge plugs to composite materials and now dissolvable. And we've seen you know, changes that have made the plug shorter, lighter, easier to drill with you know, um, less damaging slips. But, but the end of, at the end of the day, where we're at now is we're, we're still seeing what we feel like is largely incremental yeah. advancements, right? Slightly shorter, slightly lighter, a little bit better dissolving. Like, these, these, are, these are marginal improvements, exactly. but, they, but they still all suffer from the same issue, which is that the, the, the incidence of failure is non-zero. It's hard to quantify exactly how often they fail, and, and they don't all fail catastrophically, but, but when there are issues, um, the consequences of those issues can be very costly. Oh, definitely. On even a single stage, on an MPV basis, it's easy to get into six figures if even one stage goes awry. And, you know, exactly. through, through Tubing Solutions, our, our core business is drilling out frack plugs. And so every day, all over the world, we are interacting with customers who use all different manner of, of uh, different types of tools and frack plugs to provide stage isolation. And we see firsthand the issues that they encounter when these go wrong. Well, so basically, I really like what you're talking about because you're, you're focusing on well integrity. Yes. And so the well integrity really gives life, I and mean, when we keep hearing about refracts and trifracts, it kind of sets the stage for, for having a, a nice starting point for future stages and future operations and, and just actually getting the most out of the reservoir. It does, it does. We, we feel like this has a lot of advantages to that. So, like I said, as we've interacted with our customers and, and seen some of the issues that they encounter drilling out frack plugs, we, we recognize that there was an opportunity to sort of reimagine mm -hmm. uh, how one might go about solving the problem or the challenge of stage isolation. Traditionally, that's done with a single plug that blocks off the entire ID of your casing above yes. your top perf. Yes. But really, if you think about it, what's required is to prevent fluid from entering the perforations themselves. Exactly. And fortunately Formation for damage. Exactly. Yeah. So, Oops. you know, I have these little these little devices here. We've had these since 2016. We call these perf pods. 
And we've run millions of them all over the world. And these were designed to be hole plugging agents, hole plugging devices, and they do that extraordinarily well. Now in the past, in like mid-stage diversion jobs, uh, whether or not they would plug off this hole or that hole, and whether that was a good thing or a bad thing, is up to the user. But in this case, we could use these to actually provide stage isolation at the perforation itself, rather than above the stage, right? And doing that means you've got in inherent reliability and redundancy, it's a self-sealing system, yes. right? If a traditional frack plug leaks, there is no recourse, right? right? But we would usually run uh, more of these in the stage than we have holes, and so if something leaks, we have an immediate seal available. Of course, when you're done with the stage, there's no, there's no frack plugs to drill out, so the, uh, the speed of the drill out is increased, there's no risk of getting stuck due to frack plug uh, debris in the well. Uh, and then probably my, my, favorite, my favorite point about this is when you set these, because they are flow conveyed, right, you are immediately getting a pressure test. No other frack plug in the world, I'm not going to say can be tested, but, but typically frack plugs are not tested after they are set. It's just too time consuming. And if they are, the, the pressure isn't cycled, they're, they're difficult to test and validate. But with these, because you're actually pumping them onto the perforations, when they land, you get an immediate test. And you're testing every previous stage in parallel at the same time. So the completion engineer has immediate feedback that when this plug has been deployed, it actually is working. You can hold as much pressure as you want to, right? And there's, there's no damage to your casing. Uh, these are much more survivable than traditional frack plugs. They can take pressure cycling. They can take pressure shocks, shock loading. The hydraulic forces acting on this small cross-sectional area is very small. And so if you, if you think about this, there are a lot of benefits to uh, providing a plug and perf operation using something like this. So this well, that's great. And so, well, we, we're going to, I'm going to jump in because you've gone into a lot of detail and also some overviews, but if people want more, how can they contact you? Yeah, so just, you can reach out to me. Uh, my name is Justin Allison, you know, justin.allison at throughtubing.com. Uh, you can contact any of our sales team and they'll have information for you. But this tool is, is pretty simple. Uh, we, it's cool that you could design it too. I did, yeah. yeah that's my baby. I'm, I'm really proud of it. It's yeah. very short. So th this is it right here. It's seven foot, three feet long. So all you it. need is a firing head and it goes directly below all your wireline guns. It holds 70 pods and uh, you pump it down right above your top perforation. And instead of setting a frack plug, you'd be deploying these things. It takes about a minute. It's designed to deploy all these pods across 51 seconds, and as soon as you get the pressure increase that you want, you'll already be pulled up alongside your first perforation point. It will shoot your first gun and bang, 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 perforate on the fly out of the hole, and then rinse and repeat. Well, congratulations to the inventor. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Have a good day. Thanks.